a, a brain cell. Do I have two brain cells? No. This is going so great. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my go-to pet play gear. I thought this would be like a cute, fun video that I could do that's not super stressful. Maybe I can turn it into like a reel too. I don't know. I wanted to do a video on my rules and stuff, but I kind of have to script that out a little bit and make sure I cover everything that I want to talk about. This is more lighthearted and I can do it on like a short notice because today I woke up and I was like... I might make a YouTube video. So I am primarily a kitten, so that's what the ears are for, obviously. Um, I do switch them out with puppy ears and bunny ears, but again, that is just up to personal preference. So these ears are from Atelier Creatura on Instagram. I've had these for a couple years at this point, maybe like two, three, I don't know. Um, long time. I didn't get them directly from the shop. I bought them from someone secondhand who was selling a bunch of their ears off because they were done with pet play. Um, I regret not getting another pair that they had at the time, but I was stupid. Um, <laughs> so I paid like $40 for these and that is the best $40 I've ever spent in my entire life. These are my favorite ears. I wear them almost every time that I wear ears. They make me so happy. The shape is perfect on my head. I highly recommend uh, trying to get a pair of these if you can. I know they're really expensive now and just in general super hard to get because people are really fast. But yeah, I'm very grateful to own these because they're, they're some of my favorites. So I guess next we will talk about my collar that is on my neck right now. Um, this is from the Kitten Collection. Are you creeping up the stairs? Oh, sorry, my boyfriend was coming up the stairs and I'm really terrible at filming videos, so. They make a bunch of different colors. Basically, um, this is made out of biothane. It's a really good option if you're not comfortable with ribbon collars or if they're not comfortable on your neck. It's a good alternative to like actual leather too. It's a vegan option. So this is just a build your own collar. I believe it's five eighths of an inch thick because three eighths would have been really thin. So I got five eighths. Just added on silver spikes and the tag is actually from a different Etsy shop. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, but I can put it on the screen. My boyfriend bought this before we made my collar. Um, but yeah, it's my absolute favorite collar just because of this tag. I actually think I need to get a different collar to wear on a daily basis because the metal on the back of this post tends to rub on my neck when I wear this out of the house and it'll leave like red patches for days afterwards. Um, I don't think I'm allergic to the metal. But I think something's going on. <laughs> Maybe I just wear it too tight. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I do have a locking buckle on the back of this. And I have a lock that actually goes along with it. I don't know where my silver one is at this point. I have a lock that goes along with it. This is a plain silver lock. And then I also have my custom lock, which is actually kind of dirty right now. I'm not sure how to like clean this off the right way but this is my custom lock i got this from pop and lock resin on etsy it's actually the owner of ceremony leather she does like custom resin locks and different things they're all super cute and i got a chain with this one so i can wear it like just as a little necklace too but yeah this is one of the locks i use the other one's just like really basic um yeah i guess the next thing that i want to talk about are my cuffs that match um, these are also from the kitten collection. I'll insert some like clips of this because this is probably not doing them justice, but uh, these are the same width as my collar. They are 5 eighths of an inch. I'm pretty sure I will correct myself if I'm wrong, but they're just plain black biothane cuffs with the locking buckle and I do have a uh, different heart locks that I also bought from the kitten collection that are super tiny that fit in the, these locks perfectly um so when you put them on your wrist they're not super like obnoxious 
When I first uh, got these in, I actually thought that I had a lock that would fit these already. So I was just like, okay, I just need to order a second one. So I ordered a second one from the kitten collection. It came in. We open it. It's smaller. So that was fun. We had to order a second one. Yay! <laughs> I will wear these out of the house. Sometimes they're quite comfortable. You don't really even notice that you have them on unless you get like sweaty because it gets like kind of moist under there um but yeah they're super easy to clean they're really comfortable i highly recommend them i believe these were like i want to say like 34 dollars 35 dollars they were not super expensive and that was after adding on the locking buckle so it's pretty good the last thing that i want to talk about is my tiny leash which is also from the kitten collection. If you're not catching on, I kind of am obsessed with that shop. Um, they make cute shit, but it's also functional and it's strong, you know? Because a lot of places will either make cute stuff or they'll make functional stuff, but there's not a lot of shops that do both. So this is why I like them. Um, it's just like a little handle. It goes on your wrist like this. Um, and then there's a swivel clasp, so this can either be used as like a little, a little leash, or you can put it on as like a keychain on like your your belt loop. Um, I do that a lot because that's really cute. And then it's sort of like a subtle leash moment in public. Um, it also hooks on to the cuffs really well. If I was gonna use this on the cuffs in public i think i would get something a little bit smaller like not as long and not as thick but this is really cute and for what i do use it for highly recommend it can also be used as like a slapper because it kind of stings uh and it's thick enough to do something but yeah very cute so that is all of my go-to Pepla gear as of right now. Um, I hope this was enjoyable for you. If you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. I'm hoping to make more pet play content and just lifestyle content in general. Um, all of my social media will be linked in the description box down below. You can follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, on whatever. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!